Welcome design students. In this project we're going to create a still life composition that looks kind of like this. You already have created a wine glass in previous lessons, you've created a bottle in previous lessons, and you've created a bowl in previous lessons. So the new things we're going to do are learn how to make fruit. We're also going to learn how to create liquid objects for the insides of our bottles. We're going to create a studio lighting setup that looks kind of like this. And we're going to create a studio lighting setup that looks like the one pictured here. And in the process, we're going to learn about studio lighting. And finally, we're going to learn a little bit about unwrapping UVs. And we're going to have to do that for the wine bottle so that we can apply this label. So let's start by taking a look at this scene. So here I have the wine bottle. I also have an object inside the wine bottle that is the wine right here. I have the glass, and inside that I have a wine object. And then we have several different pieces of fruit here. And we have the studio backdrop, which is here. And then we also have three lights that create our studio lighting. This is the backlight, this is the key light, and this is the fill light. And we'll talk about those in more detail later. And one other really great thing we're going to learn in this series of tutorials is how to fill a bowl randomly with uh, our fruit objects. And we're going to do that using simulation. You can see here that if I scrub my animation, if I scrub my playhead, you can see that the apples will fall into the bowl, like so. And that's how we create a random assortment of things without having to physically place them. And we do that using a tool set included in 3D Max called MassFX. And what that allows us to do is take objects and give them physical properties so that they can collide with each other using the laws of physics. So I'm very excited about this project. I know you're going to learn a lot of new things. So let's go ahead and get started in the next video. And I'll see you then.